Welcome to Busy Therapy. I'm Anthony Velia, but a lot of patients call me Doc. I'm a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation, which means that I treat patients with dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo 40 hours every week. Let's talk. Let's talk about vestibular migraine. As a heads up, this is gonna mostly focus on vestibular migraine, as migraine as a whole is a huge topic, more than we can cover in just one video. So let's focus on migraine as a cause of dizziness specifically today. For our balance and orientation, three things need to happen. We need to have our eyes tell us information about our surroundings, movements we make, and especially things like the horizon to know if I'm tilting or not. We need to have our senses of touch and proprioception. We can feel the weight through our feet. We can tell if we're leaning one way or another, and maybe we're on a slope or gravel, something less steady, less sturdy underneath us. And finally, we have our vestibular sense. This is found in the inner ears, and it is totally separate from hearing. A person can have perfect hearing, but still be dizzy or off balance. And likewise, someone could be completely deaf, and still be a top athlete. The vestibular sense tells you about the movements of your head in any direction, your orientation. You can even directly sense gravity with the crystals in our ears. All of these three senses are needed for a normal balance sense and awareness. Now, what is migraine? To be totally honest, the term migraine is either poorly explained or just societally is so misunderstood most people, if you say migraine, they go right to headache. And that's not incorrect, but it misses the majority of what's really happening. Migraine is very complicated, I'll be honest, but it's a matter of the electricity and chemistry in our brains, and it can lead to many different symptoms. The most common is indeed headache, but for many, many people who experience migraines, they do not have headaches. And likewise, you can have headaches and not have any history of migraine, but you can have concentration issues, you can have visual disturbances and dizziness. In fact, many people who have migraines don't actually know they have them. The term sinus headache is not actually related to the sinuses directly. It's almost exclusively migraine in reality. As an example, many people have heard of someone with an ocular migraine. They'll have visual aura. They might see flashes of color or odd movements in their peripheries, all sorts of bizarre images. But here's the thing. The eyes are not actually seeing those images at all. They would just see what's in front of them, send it to the brain, and the brain wildly misinterprets the information that's coming in. Now imagine that, but instead of vision, it's the vestibular sense. So the ears, are getting the information, send it off to the brain, but the brain misinterprets. So when you move, how much did you actually move? Or maybe you're not moving and your brain thinks that you're turning and turning. Well, then you may feel vertigo, despite the ears not doing anything incorrectly in that circumstance. A really important thing to note, all of the tests that are performed for patients with dizziness, most of them, will come back totally negative. Even brain tests to determine how the brain is operating, with migraine, it may not be abnormal, but that is still important. We need to know that there's not an ear issue or some other diagnosis like Meniere's disease or vestibular migraine. And I have a whole video on the testing process for dizziness if you're curious. But like so much of health, genetics, and our environment determines so much of who is or is not going to develop migraine. The most common time that migraine can occur is when the hormones are going to see a change. For men and women, puberty is the most common time for migraines to either start, stop, or change qualities. After that, pregnancy and menopause for women or a drop in testosterone for men later in life can trigger a start stop or change in your personal migraine symptoms. I've had many patients who only had headaches until around menopause time, then the headaches actually reduced, 
but dizziness began to happen instead. And that's not terribly abnormal. So what do we do about all of this? The first step is prevention. Migraine is extremely personal and you're going to have your personal triggers. Some, uh, most commonly, foods can be the most common trigger. But there's also photophobia, bright lights or moving lights. There's phonophobia, where loud or particular sounds really set off symptoms. And especially with vestibular migraine, too much movement, either of you or the visuals in front of you, can be a huge trigger. So what do people on, on the brink of migraine often do? They're going to be in a dark, quiet room, not moving. The second thing to be aware of is rescue medication, sometimes called abortive medication, which is to help during a big migraine. When all the symptoms come on, you have something that really can help settle it down. Medication management, just like migraine as a whole, is very personal. How medication affects you, what side effects, how intense, it all depends very much on your specific anatomy and phase of life. So it's a big discussion to have with your neurologist. There are headache specialist neurologists who are the masters of migraine. So if one medication is just not working out, there's plenty of others. Don't be worried. And for treatment of vestibular migraine in particular, that's where vestibular rehabilitation comes in. I have an entire video on the concepts of VRT, vestibular rehabilitation therapy, but for your personal triggers, such as the complex visuals of a car speeding by, we're going to expose you to those challenging complex movements and visuals, slow at first, simple-ish at first, and we're just going to build you up as you improve. But compared to most of the vestibular disorders that I help people with, this is probably the diagnosis I treat the most gently. We're trying to reprogram your own brain's understanding from its own deficits and considering just how symptomatic someone can be from a simple, relatively light trigger, it is recommended to challenge you beyond your comfort, but only by a little bit, not super aggressively. With treatment though, Expect to feel dizziness now to reduce the dizziness later. There is no cure for migraine, so it's really about making your life as functional as possible again. Many patients of mine tell me the story that they had to stop working, avoid hobbies, it interfered with their lives, but with training and diligent training, they're back to work, they're socializing, they're back to sports even, they're getting back to what they enjoy. Your life is not your diagnosis. You are living with a diagnosis. So find the things that you are challenged by, the things that trigger you, and let's slowly expose you to them more and more, knowing they're probably going to be symptomatic, knowing it's not gonna feel good like it might have before, having rescue medication or settling techniques ready so that you can challenge it and then relax them. With time, you can return to those things. I really recommend that you seek out much more information about migraine as a whole beyond the vestibular aspect, neurology being a wonderful place to start. And if dizziness is a major factor, seek out an ENT and vestibular physical therapist to get on your team as well. Get testing, know your triggers, train yourself to get back to a life with movement again. To summarize, migraine is a complicated and mysterious dysfunction of the brain with electrochemical and hormonal differences brought on by genetics and the environment. Symptoms are very personal, may or may not include headache, and vestibular migraine in particular involves dizziness and imbalance. Neurology can help manage rescue medication, triggers, and education. And for dizziness specifically, vestibular rehabilitation with PT can help overcome and understand the movements and dizziness that you're dealing with. Migraine can go away. We don't have a foolproof cure, but that doesn't mean just because it's going to be around for a while potentially that you can't have a full functional life with migraine. And that's it an overview of vestibular migraine from a vestibular specialist physical therapist. Thank you so very much for watching. 
Always stay curious about these incredible bodies that God has designed for us so well. Leave a question in the comments below because I would love to know what you all want to learn. Subscribe to Dizzy Therapy for more videos in the future. And remember, dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo are never normal. So visit your ENT and vestibular physical therapist as soon as possible so you can get back to moving freely. Have a great rest of your day and may God bless you with stability throughout your dizzy therapy.